and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna do a follow-up on the desulfating video it has been three weeks now the desulfators has been working for three weeks let's see how they're doing and I have I have guests my cousins are here to uh, to cheer yeah. me up first I have the I have the batteries with the desulfators that my cousin has made if this one mr. mr. cousin he has been in number a number of videos without even knowing it. We have the these batteries, and they have been working the last week on his diesel faders. So let's see how they're doing. Okay, let's start with the little one. Red one to the red, plus and to the minus, and we're gonna select the same thing as yesterday. And I wrote on the note. If you can remember that, what settings are used. So we're gonna select that. And the battery is pretty much doing exactly the same thing as the very first time I tested this. The voltage is a bit higher, but the cold cranking amps is exactly the same 176 cranking amps which is surprisingly that it hit that precise and the internal resistance is only 5.05 milliohms different from when when we started this so and last weekend it was it was a little bit better i wonder what is happening here this is not i have a guess I have served something. So we think we have a bad connection. Okay, it did it did do a little. Still not as good as last weekend. Kind of weird. I'm gonna write down the the new numbers and we're gonna see next weekend how it's doing. And over here we have another battery. It's just that. And that's an and have a note and compare. Well, this one looks to be copying what it was doing last weekend actually. Uh, the voltage has been dropped a little bit. It, the batteries has been sitting for a couple of hours since I unplugged them. Uh, this one is 12.9 volts, 224, 225 cranking amps and that's the same number as last weekend and 12.04 milliohms and that's it's just 0 0.01 milliohms from where it la were last weekend not much happening on these batteries and i have updated the notes so next weekend i can remember what i was doing and now the cousins need to get out of the way <laughs> Over here we have the batteries that we are really playing with. And they have been sitting also on the desulfator for the last the past week. And I've just charged them and they have been sitting here for well at least an hour, maybe two, since I disconnected everything. So we I'm gonna put those back on the table and let's see what they're doing. Okay, magically the batteries has moved to the table and this desulfator was the one that I shortened the wires on, so let's start with this one and see how that one is doing. Last weekend it was at 12.5 volts, 275 cranking amps and an internal resistance of 8.48 milliohms. So let's put on the battery analyzer. And choose the same settings that used last weekend and compare. We are still at 275 cranking amps. The internal resistance is 
the same and the voltage is almost the same so pretty much nothing has happened to this battery the last week I'm gonna update my note so that I can remember this next time I test this this next battery which was the worst of the bunch was kindly donated by my cousins right here Peter and let's see how this one is doing It's doing pretty much the same thing again. It has 115 cranking amps, it's at 12.8 volts and the internal resistance is 19.47. So it's actually, it's a little bit worse than last weekend. I, I do think that the, the time that I have these batteries sitting before I test them and film them is very important because the numbers tend to vary. If, if they sit half an hour, they test out a bit better than if I have them sit two hours. But Well, I'll update the note. Okay, and because my cousin is here, is because he, he brought the an oscilloscope. Well, we're gonna try and put an oscilloscope on, on, let's just test one. Let's test this battery, the really bad one. And we're gonna see, make a comparison of the two diesel faders, uh, the one with the short wires, see how that looks on the oscilloscope, and the one with the long wires, and check that out on the oscilloscope, and maybe the two other diesel faders, just to make a comparison if, if they're doing better than these cheap Chinese ones. We are gonna connect the oscilloscope and have a look. So according to the manual, we should see something happening at about 10 kilohertz and we should see some peak voltages at around 60 to 100 volts and we have connected the diesel fader and it's running here happily and i can hear it buzzing uh, sometimes i can hear that when i'm editing the video also and we have connected an oscilloscope to this battery diesel fader and right over here, we can see what the diesel fader is doing. And it is, it is producing some peaks of voltage that it's sending back into the battery. So, so far so good. Uh, the big problem is these numbers down here. Right down here. They're not nearly as high as, as we could have hoped for. There, where it says about a volt, is the peak-to-peak -peak voltage. So instead of 60 to 100 volts, uh, I'm actually only getting about 1 to when is 1.1 volt back into the battery. So this means that the diesel fader is more or less only producing 100 of a, of what it's supposed to do to be supplying back into the battery but well it might be because I cut off the wires um, let's check that okay I connected the other diesel fader and it's about to start in just a second and let's see what the oscilloscope says to be quite honest it's doing even worse 600 millivolts that it's supplying back into the battery it's well that's more or less useless it would probably be better to have a really really old and bad battery charger there would probably be more noise on that the small improvement is actually this one with the longer cables is it's doing 400 millivolts worse than the one with the short cables so what well, yeah, it's still worthless. It's this is next to nothing. I don't think this is doing what it should be doing. And two of them being bad at once. Just to make totally sure, um, I kind of coiled this 
wire up to make it more manageable so let's let's undo this and just have a straight line and get this out of the way and put this on the battery and it will just just be a little second before it starts again 12.8 volts and it's finding out this is a 12 volt battery and it's desulfating again to be quite honest it actually looks as if it became like 100 milli volts better maybe but still that's not okay yeah just for comparison we have connected the old desulfator that Jörn or Peter has made they are kind of battling who did this one but um, we have connected it to the oscilloscope and the numbers are quite a lot better here it's it's not that much but this one is at least doing 17 volts peak to peak sometimes almost 18 volts and sometimes down to 14 oh 16 volts but this is kind of doing what we were expecting it okay to do. we kind of came to the conclusion that these more or less don't work at all it's, there's a nice little volt meter in them and there's a nice little pulse thing and it it finds out that this is a 12 volt battery but the desulfator part it's more or less useless so we kind of uh, we want to take it apart now so now that it's not working anyway we might as well see what's inside of it and my cousin Peter is gonna try and very carefully dismantle this thing where's the big hammer <laughs> just a fall hammer And he, he did that, and there's a lot of electronics in it, and a small inductor. A small inductor. Did they um, forget to put on a big cat or something? I have uh, expected to find a lot of uh, capacitors, um, but uh, they're cheaper than than big um, coils. But um, maybe there's something on the back of it. And that washer it came off. There's a button, there's a washer, there's a little fuse. But, uh, but it actually looks uh, decent. Yeah, the quality looks pretty good. Too bad it doesn't work. And uh, we can compare our coils. We have a, a small coil there and they have a tiny coil right there. This uh, one is actually rated for 6 amp, and I don't think that one is. But I think that's over dimension. Actually, that that's not over dimensions. Mm. That's actually uh, because we need a, a lot to do the battery and a good. We need a lot uh, big power spike. Spike. Well, two desulfators, three weeks wasted. These does not do what I had expected them to do. So they're more or less junk. Um, I'm just gonna keep them and I'm gonna go buy something else. I've seen some other people that has bought something from Great Britain and I might wanna try one of those instead because one volt peaks is not gonna do much to the batteries. We were joking around here that I might have an old charger that was probably better, more noise on that one. But we actually just measured it and it had less noise but yeah don't get these it might have been me just being ripped off but um, the ones I got didn't work they it's a it's it's a nice voltmeter you press the button and it shows you the voltage and it makes stupid noises that's what it does the wire quality is okay but otherwise it's a waste of money and time so thank you for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again have a really nice day bye bye